Hello everybody, welcome to Stan's Garage, your behind the scenes look at the IT industry, giving you the necessary insights to maximize profits from your technology investment. So nowadays, regardless of the work you do, you probably rely on a number of different technologies. Should any of those technologies get too complex or just up and fail on you, you need someone to help support you. Today, I'm going to talk to you about managed IT services, and specifically what you, a small business owner, needs to be aware of when bringing in a company to tend to your business's technology needs. Now, some businesses can afford to bring on an entire IT department, but if you run a small or medium-sized business, bringing aboard a full IT staff may not be feasible. You could potentially hire an IT engineer, but that one person likely doesn't have the bandwidth to handle much more than helping to put out fires as they ignite. Long-term planning, maintenance, and strategy are likely going to be too much for that lone IT warrior. Believe me, I've been that guy. Now, you might have even come to the conclusion that one IT staffer doesn't really cut it. And you plan on handling things yourself, which is great until you realize you're not any sort of Bill Gates after all. Setting up staff email addresses is taking what precious little time you have from, you know, actually running your business. Well, since neither of those are ideal, what does that leave? Well, the good news is there's a solution out there that many others in the SMB space have turned to with fantastic results. Managed IT services. So what does that mean exactly? Great question. Now, whether you currently or previously have worked with an MSP or managed IT services provider, I'm going to go through what is involved with that and from there, you should be armed with plenty of info to decide if managed IT services are a good fit for you and your business. In the simplest of terms, managed IT services involve an agreement with an MSP to provide your organization with ongoing IT support for a flat monthly fee. That fee will vary depending on your organization's needs. And for a more in-depth look at MSP pricing, check out our video discussing that very topic. When your organization hires an MSP, instead of having an internal IT department, that MSP essentially becomes your IT department. You shouldn't think of an MSP as an outside vendor, but rather an extension of your business and staff. They're now your CIO, IT manager, and all levels of IT support in between. Your MSP is positioned to help you ensure your technology is equipped to support your business's needs. Via an MSP, Small and medium businesses now have access to senior level IT staff that may not have been a feasible choice otherwise. Your business will receive a combination of both remote and on-site support. And with the expansion of remote work, an MSP is extremely well positioned to support your staff regardless of geography. The vast majority of IT requests and support issues we found can be handled remotely. This offers MSP clients a speedy resolution about every four out of five times. The remaining issues get a tech dispatched to a client's location to be resolved, along with any other tasks that are best served in person. It's that level of personalized service a reputable MSP will provide. We like to provide a primary resource to each client account and with the rest of our team on hand to back them up. In the event a primary technician is unavailable, unlike when a company has a lone IT person, an MSP has additional staff available to handle the load. And your MSP always has a pair of eyes on your IT infrastructure, ideally with a number of automated processes and alerts. This way, the most important maintenance tasks are being handled automatically, and the MSP is almost immediately alerted if something looks awry. There are a few ways your MSP keeps tabs on all of this, without the need to physically be where you conduct your business. And that's especially helpful in the hybrid work environments of today. And the primary means of doing so is via a remote monitoring and management, also called an RMM tool. RMM is effectively what we as an MSP use to keep tabs on your environment 24 seven. This set of tools and processes is what we'll use to keep everything up to date, as well as alerting us when something may not be doing so. Yes, this will be our first line of defense against cyber attacks and will also serve quite useful in letting us know when any of your systems is experiencing an issue 
or is just in need of some routine maintenance. Next, we'll deploy a suite of tools including antivirus, email protection, firewalls, web filtering, and this is part of what we call our endpoint protection. These, as well as other tools, ensure that threats are detected and neutralized before they can cause serious damage. This is the foundation of the multi-layered security framework we deploy today to protect your business from the rapidly evolving new cyber threats out there. Finally, one of the biggest benefits of working with an MSP is staff redundancy. You get access to a qualified technician to assist you with your IT needs and the backing of a full IT company that ensures you'll always be able to receive that support when you need it. In-house staff will inevitably have some valid reason as to why they may be unavailable but an MSP will have backup technicians and full documentation at the ready for when issues arise. When your primary resource is not able to immediately hop on and help, you can rest assured knowing you're covered. So with remote monitoring and management tools, your endpoint protection suite, and a team of engineers available to attend to your needs at any time, those are the foundations and MSP lays to take care of your essential IT. Well, that's my first video this series and uh, everything you need to know about managed IT. I'll be back next week with the next installment, how your business can best use managed IT services. In the meantime, I'd love to get your feedback on this. What do you think managed IT service providers need to include in their packages to best serve their clients? I look forward to your comments and I'll catch you on the next one.